Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 8 of Music Wars Empire, and we are Raging Cajun Records. So, if you're just tuning in, don't know anything about this game, this is a music record company simulator. Uh, you run a record company, you sign bands, you control the bands, you put them in the studio, let them record albums, you put them on the road for tours, you release albums, you release singles, you release videos. Um, speaking of videos, so one of our, you, you coming to see me, George? Come on, come on, come on. Up or down, man? Shit or get off the pot? Come on. All right, I'll, I'll catch you. I'll give you a love. But, all right, well, if you're going to stay there, that's cool. <laughs> so one of, uh, one of the viewers has, uh, and I forget his name, but uh, he's made comments. Uh, he has said to release videos. Now, I'm not positive. I'm not positive about a whole lot in life, but videos are much like touring. The, you know, they cost a lot of money. You can lose money easily. Uh, let's look at uh, their profile discography. Here we go. Single, single. All right. So, Run to the Hills has not released yet. The release date is April 5th. So, we're a ways from that. Number of the Beast releases February 1st. You know what? So let's do a video. Uh, let's see. Activities. Here we go. Music video. It's going to be Number of the Beast, right? Right there. Uh, director. Look how much it costs for the director right uh band members directing i would say nobody can direct in the band so let's take a look at professionals are much cheaper well relatively <laughs> uh yeah the good the good directors are expensive Good God Almighty. Oh, crap. Creativity controversy mainstream. Let's go ahead and hire Smoke Monster. Yeah, it's going to be crap. Uh, theme Run to the Hills. All right. Production. Main, a lot of mainstream nah, creativity mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. horror influenced mainstream creativity controversy controversy a dark video it's uh, controversy yeah Let's go with that. Let's go with a dark video. That sounds like Number of the Beast. Uh, filming date. Let's film it here on the 29th. It's going to cost 110000 Get off of there. Uh, so let's see. Let's add in a festival here. And video we'll do there all right save that again this is just a spreadsheet i created so i can add my bands in i can make notes on and i can kind of keep tabs because going into each individual screen time consuming and as we get more bands so i have found this helps me may not work for you you may not like it, and that's perfectly okay. We are allowed to have differences of opinion. We are allowed to do things differently and both come out with stuff that we like. All right, so if we take a look, we're January 15th. 
We've got a heart single coming out this week. Remember, it has to be out for a full seven days before it shows up with record sales. And they are all on tour until at least the end of February for Maiden. Uh, Hart and Motley Crue are out together until close to the end of March. So really what we're doing is we're just tracking album sales right now. Uh, seeing if we need more uh, manufacturing for physical copies. Hart and Motley Crue, we're still early in their careers. Maiden is selling Oh, I hope we don't freeze here. I have had a crash. Uh, well, there we go, and that's good. All right, so let's jump into Maiden Profile Discography. Number of the Beast. Record sales. All right, so last week we sold 13,000 units. We have sold 70% of our physical copies. And basically what I do, and again, there's, you know, I don't know if there's an optimal way to do this, but what I'm looking for is when we're getting close to 100%, and this is an American, I, yes, I understand Iron Maiden was a new wave of British heavy metal. We signed them as an American band. Sorry, I didn't really think that through before I gave them the name Maiden. My bad. So anyway, we have... 25,000 units left. It's enough for about two weeks. So I want to watch in two weeks if we've sold out and then we can get more. So we're currently number 47. We peaked at number 13. Uh, we have total record sales of 77,000 in America. Well, actually... 142,000 worldwide, 136,000 in America, and then we have another 1.6 million streams. So two weeks, let's go ahead and go two weeks forward. And you know, you can check weekly, you can check bi-weekly, you, you know, you can determine what the best is for you. Um, right now, I'm not interested in signing another band until we get Hart and Motley Crue kind of up and running into where they're generating uh, and being profitable. All right, Maiden's video is done, so let's double click on that and set a release date. So the, the number of the beast, the single is coming out on the 1st. Let's release the video on the 7th. Now... It sounds in the comments and the questions from our viewer that it looks like you can actually watch the video. I have not ever seen that. So just, to, you know. Um, all right, let's go one more week because then we can look at, uh, we can go back and look at heart single sales. We should have a week on the number of the beast single. So let's go ahead and check. Let's check Heart first, Profile. Uh, let's check out the shows. All right, so that tour has not started yet. That starts February 23rd. That's the one they're touring with Motley Crue. Uh, this one, they sold out three and 400 seat arenas. So this one... This one is actually going to be a smaller tour because they're going to be in Europe. We're sending them to Europe to try to start developing some traction there. And then we'll probably come back and do another U.S. tour. Uh, so I definitely want to, around the beginning of March, because remember, everything in the game backs up usually a couple of weeks. You saw that we... Uh, recorded, but it was a week later that we could even try to release the video, right? So, all right, so let's get back in here. So the studio album, Dreamboat Annie, we only did, we didn't do any physical sales. Uh, yeah, we did. Uh, I take that back. So we're at 77%. We're at 80% here. They're selling 74 a week, so 200, they've got enough for three, maybe four weeks, and that's if they maintain that pace. Uh, uh, 75 out of 100, but they're selling eight a week, 
so we should be good there and 2000 a week in the US so they should have two to three weeks left of album sales there okay uh, let's check uh, their second single I'll be your song uh, that released on the 18th 241 last week 706 total with 22,000 streams and again these are just really cheap singles that we've done just trying to get um, some traction and up popularity uh, let's check out Motley Crue. Uh, they, according to my little chart here, released their third single, uh, Every Day, on January 18th. 138 last week, 375 lifetime. How did Toast of the Town do? All right, so 389. 56.96 so we're doing all right and the motley ep 121 see we didn't do any physical uh prints here uh for their ep which is fine uh that's why every day you're like motley crew never wrote a song called every day i'm releasing an EP with mostly unknown songs. The only reason I gave uh, some names here is it, as a Motley Crue fan, you know they released an EP uh, on their own with Stick to Your Guns, Toast of to the Town, and then they released their first album on their own label before re-releasing it later on Electra Records after they signed their record deal. Uh, so that's, that's why I'm doing that. Uh, so let's check Maiden now. Uh, shows all right so we are 500 so they they're, they sold out that now this is a world tour so Canada Oceana all right so they're selling out everywhere good good Canada again and America uh, the US that was a small club for them in the US but that's okay um, now this ends on February 24th. Let's check. All right, so their morale is okay. The number of the beast. What do I want to do with these guys? Because we're getting pretty close to the end of their tour. We need to set them up again. So they have a third single coming out in April. So I want to keep them out on the road. All right, let's check. Let's check their shows. I want to go back to their U.S. tour here. They sold 88% of their tickets. And they were selling out the 1,000-seaters. They also sold out a 2,000-seater. They sold out that 2000 seater. So let's go in and book a tour. Uh, let's see. And this is going to be Iron Maiden US 2021 March. Just to, you know, I'm trying to come up with ways to remember it. Uh, we're going to go with, uh, let's go below basic. Uh, average ticket price, we're going to go up to, let's go up to 30 bucks. I think they're getting the popularity. Uh, we're going to continue. I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and book my own gig. Any of our bands? No. All right, so ability, we want to take good a good band, so um, 57, but they're Latin American, eh, 54, Canada, no American bands. Hmm. Tell you what, let's bring Child's Play with us. They're European, and I want to go to, let's go the whole ball of wax. 
All right, and then we can scroll down. I want to give them about a week or two off, so let's start here. All right, and then the basement we'll do on Thursday. Heist Stadium, a stadium tour, oh my God. <laughs> Dayton Lounge on Saturday. Uh, the Ditch. Let's go to Thursday of the following week. And then let's see about, let's bring some of these 5,000 seaters in. But let's see if we can make it cost feasible. So you can see the cost here. So we'll do Merriam Hall. See, like I'd stay away from that one. 6,000 on Saturday. And then, you know what? I'm, I'm going to do a second leg. This will be a short leg. We'll just, just to see how it goes. And then we'll jump to the following Thursday Friday, Saturday, and then, you know what, let's just for giggles, let's do Jersey on Sunday, and let's go to, let's do a two-night, probably a waste of money, but we'll do a Friday and a Saturday night at the Armory just just for fun all right and so it'll be it'll be a short leg that'll send us out on the road through april 3rd so maiden is now going to be april 3rd of 21. all right march 20th so we're about a month away um, let's do another, oh, let's check, uh, did I already look at their discography? I don't remember. We went two weeks, 83, yeah, we did. So they've got 11,000, so they've got another week possibly. All right, let's go one more week. Boom, shakalaka. All right, let's go to bands. Let's check Maiden out again. I want to look at their, no. Shows, discography. I thought it would show up in here. Oh, there it is. Okay, so you go into the song. All right, well, we jumped 911 last week. Let's look at the music video. So it got a C plus, 504,000 viewers last week, 1.5 million viewers in a two week run. Good, but nothing special. So again, I don't know the factor that this plays. Uh, there's, there's nothing to watch. So... Okay, well, so I guess that's it. Um, 9 11 last week. 1876. Okay, that's the. We haven't sold any physical copies. I did print a thousand, but, you know, we're, we're only getting streams. So the 1876 is digital, they're not buying physical of the single. Which is okay. How is our album doing? 7,400 last week. 76, 86, 85, 84. We've only got about 8,000. I'm going to go ahead and manufacture. No, we're not going to manufacture any. 
for anywhere else in the world and I only want let's do another 10,000 so that puts us up to 94 and that should give us that's 18 maybe three three or four more weeks at current sale rates all right February 19th so hearts release heart just released their third single so we have one more week to see how that's selling so we'll check them after this week okay a heart profile discography magic man record sales 342 the first week okay uh, dreamboat annie record sales sold 1600 so we've got 3,000 left. So they've got about two weeks left of, of sales here. We'll keep an eye on that. So we'll come back in two more weeks. So let's go ahead and buzz two weeks forward. That'll also get us into March. And then we want to revisit Hart possibly going on tour and Motley Crue going on tour again. We'll look at their popularity. We may want them just to go back in the studio. All right. So let's check Maiden first. Just they're the easiest band to look at. And we actually have some activity. All right. Number of the Beast. Music video. 201,000 viewers last week. 2.3 million. Chart trajectory critical oh these are singles okay so we want to go back to the studio album so we're at 91 percent we've got 9,000 left we're down under 6,000 a week in sales nobody else is really close to running out so you know that get you know this gives us an idea for the next album on what to manufacture up front um so we're up to 191,000 sales in America, 85,000 physical copies. Number 75 this week, 12 weeks on the charts. And remember, they all they will always always run out their the course of their life within a calendar year. There's not going to be any Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon that stays on the chart for 25 years or or Led Zeppelin that releases a new album and then their previous five albums all come back into the charts and are in the top 10 sellers. N not going to happen. Uh, the game will not allow that to the best of my knowledge. All right, shows. How are we doing? Okay, let's go back to their world tour. 97 percent so we almost sold out we did lose money which is okay 250 was a sellout 250 that's an odd number 280 that's the show we did not sell out was in bulgaria oh bulgaria we sold you out one night but two nights was a big ask so we were we were uh what's that 281 560 so we were at about 65 percent ish right there just a rough guess off the top of my head and that looks like to, the only show that we did not sell out all right if we look at activities they're at 88 percent they already have started their new tour which is actually a little disappointing profile shows all right we opened up roswell hall that was a 3,000 seat arena 1600 oh wrong thing shows and 2,000 for the basement 3,000 capacity but we still made 13,000 
It could be our ticket prices are a touch high. It could just be we, we aren't popular enough to sell that many seats yet. But, but, uh, let's see. And in fact, let me open this. So, seats concert. So they're they're doing about 2500 to 2800 right now. So that's good to know. All right, heart shows All right, they're into their mid, oh my god, 83 out of 300. Hello. And then we did we sold out the very next night. Made money. So that's good. Mm-hmm. 500 out of 500 there, but Bas Basildon Mall, uh, the second show of four, six shows in a row, yeah, we only sold 340 out of 500. So, again, this was an auto book tour. So, you can, you know, if you do your own, you can avoid these multiple nights I don't know how much that plays a factor here, but you know, that is not great. So right now we're at negative 157, but if we continue to sell out, well, here we lost 50 bucks. So even selling that out, the dash, we actually made money on 3000 seats because of the rent. So that's something to think about. Um, discography, record sales, 1300. I think I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and manufacture a few. Uh, okay. And then we're going to do that. Can I do that? Okay, so units to add, so that's good. All right, so I was able to do that tabbing through. I hope that works right. All right, let's take a look at Maiden. Oh, wait, we're March 12th. March 12th. Yeah, March 20th, okay. Do we want to send Hart back out? I think so. All right, let's uh let's let's close that. Let's go to activities. All right, they finished their tour on March 20th. They're at 84%. So let's book a tour. Let's send them out on a world tour. Uh, April 2021. World tour. Uh, let's go with... Uh, Let's go with none. Let's raise the average ticket price to 10 bucks. Let's do a long, let's do a long tour. Uh, let's do medium and let's do 25 dates. So we want to give them, let's give them a couple of weeks off. And yeah, let's send Motley Crew back out with them. That's fine. All right, so 15, 15, 1,000, 2,000, 12, 15. I think that's fine. All right, we'll do that. So then that's going to put them on the road until May 23rd 
May 23rd. And then I think at that point we pull them both off the road, practice a little bit. Uh, let's do, let's do some media. Uh, latest album. Yeah, we'll do latest album. That's fine. We haven't done any, anything for latest album here. Latest album there. Latest album, we can pop that in a little early. Wow, okay, so we'll do that in there. Latest album. Here we go, we can drop this all the way back. Latest album there. Trend. Right after their last, uh, tell you what, let's do, let's just do general promotion there. Because that'll be after they're done. Uh, Canada, no. UK, there we go. We can do uh, latest album right here. Latest album there. Latest album here. Any others? Canada, no. Latin America, not yet. UK, we just did. Europe, uh, latest album. Tell you what, general promotion. We'll release that in May. Oceania, nobody, and Asia. All right, so that's good. So that gets them some media. Let's go to Motley Crue. Let's do some media for them as well. Well, we can select all. There you go. Uh, latest album, uh, March. Confirm. Confirm. I don't think their tour has shown up yet. It may not show up when you're the opening act. I don't know. Latest album. Cool. We'll drop that back there. Here. And there we go. All right. So that's got Motley. And let's go ahead. We haven't done any print, but we haven't done any media for Maiden. Uh, let's see. Let's just do general promotion for the band. Okay, that's March. Because general promotion, that could be concerts, that could be, you know, that could be anything. All right, April. Gossip Girls. New York Underground. I can get back into March with that. Osaka, are they in Japan? Oh, that's in Asia, sweet. All right, so they're starting to get some pub in Asia. That's awesome. Prospects. Let's do that at the end of March. And you know, reality, you would be able to put out as many of these on a single day as you wanted to, right? I mean, you know, we could put everything out on the same day if we wanted to. Uh, where are you going to go? May? You'll be doing something in May, I'm sure. All right, April 1st. April 8th. 9th. And... Sometime in May, general promotion. Cool deal. That just gets some, some media, and that'll just get a little more exposure for the band. All right, we are at 7.3 million. We were at 5.4 last episode, remember, after we released at the release date. 
So real quick, because we are at a little over time, let's check uh, let's check discography, uh, studio album, record sales, fifty five hundred. So they've got enough for about two weeks left. That's cool. Didn't I? Hello. Weird. All right. Uh, record sales for Heart, Dreamboat Annie, 1300. We just pressed uh, for them a, a, few th a few thousand, I think. And Motley Crue, if I remember correctly, we are just on a stream. Yeah, no physical copies. 92 sales last week. So we'll send them on tour. They'll immediately go back into the studio and uh, start performing, uh, start writing. Now, what we want to make sure is they're as close to 100% when they start writing. So we'll give them a couple of weeks off. We'll do some practice. Uh, and that's kind of what we will deal with at that point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go forward until uh, Maiden uh, is ready to come off the road. And then we'll decide what to do with them. But we'll talk about that next episode. And during the course of that episode, we should get to the end of Hart and Motley Crue as well. And then we'll, you know, we'll put those guys back, those two bands back in the studio for their next albums. Motley Crue's debut too Fast for Love and Heart for their second full album. Uh, what about uh, popularity? All right, so they're E and E minus for Heart. E minus, and that's it. And then Iron Maiden's gotten to a D minus in the States, E minus in the UK. Uh, so hopefully we can uh, pick that up here moving forward. Uh, once I think I get up over 10 million again, because that's what we started at, then I'll possibly see about signing a new band, and uh, we may take them outside the U.S. If possible, you know what? No, we can't because we only have the popularity with our label uh, to find bands in in the uh in the states I, i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure so anyway pound the like button leave a comment subscribe if you're new uh anything you do letting me know that you're watching the videos lets me know you want to see more of it uh i do have another game that i'm ready to fire up uh, when i'm when i'm done with either this one or the surviving mars uh so it's up to you to let me know what you want to see more of uh, but I do want to start uh, a stranded deep save soon. Uh, oh, Maiden, $15 too high. Uh, view the tour. Okay, this this was a U.S. tour. What date was that on? 212. Oh, this was on the world tour. Okay. 212 was in Alberta. And we sold out. So, you know, you're just like me. You're too poor to pay full price for the tickets that's the problem um so we were 97 percent capacity but lost sixty-eight thousand on this tour that's not bad i mean you know we you know it was a small small tour but it is what it is and looks like yeah yeah all right well we made money you know we're making money on this tour that's the good news uh, so yeah, we're looking at, uh, 25 to 2,800 is what we're, what we're selling with these guys. We'll see you next episode, guys. Take care. Bye.